Funny sense, we're talking Mardi Gras. Thousands come out to enjoy the floats, festivities, and fun throws all for free. That's right, but as KTC's Valerie Ponsetti found out, for the parade's royalty and crew members, the party doesn't come cheap. She has more in this week's Money Sense. When I grew up, we didn't do much with Mardi Gras. But that all changed when Nelda Broussard's daughter turned four. And she caught the bug. And for more than a decade, she and her husband have been members of the Lafayette Mardi Gras Festival Incorporated. And we're also officers, so we participate in everything that is done. Anyone who knows anything about Mardi Gras knows that participating in everything comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Especially if you, like Broussard, have the costs of three grandchildren to take into account. If you are truly into Mardi Gras, you must have a plan, and that includes a financial plan. Broussard says budgeting money for crew memberships, costumes, and attire for the five different balls she attends each season is a year-round process. We also have the major cost of throws. The average person has no idea uh, how much throws cost. On the lower end, you're talking about $35 to $40 a case for beads. And the Broussards stock up on at least 55 to 60 cases of beads every single year. But she says there are some ways she's come up with to cut corners. Sales. I shop year-round for formal gowns um, so that I will have everything that I need when the season comes about. Also, with the kids' costumes, I make them myself, so I don't have the additional cost of a seamstress and that kind of thing. The Broussard family has come a long way since its first carnival season, and Nelda says they don't plan on stopping anytime soon. At the end of that first year, I told my mother, I said, I will never do this again. And she said, yes, you will. And I said, why? And she said, when do our kids get to be little kings, little queens, little princes, and little princesses? This is, this is, a dream come true for the kids, and that's why I keep doing it. Reporting for KTC with this week's Money Sense, I'm Valerie Ponsetti.